You are welcome to another video of Juniper Jonos Associate course. In this video, I will talk about Jonos routing policy, which gives the capability to permit, deny, or manipulate the routes when they are exported from the routing table into a routing protocol, or when they are imported from a routing protocol into the routing table. In this section, we will talk about the concept of Jonos routing policy, but in the next section, we will implement and configure a real routing policy example in SRX devices. Why do we need routing policy? Sometimes we want to filter a route when it is land or when it is advertised, resulting in filtering in the communication. However, the filtering is done at the control plane, which has less overhead compared to the filtering traffic at the data plane where each packet must be inspected. Sometimes we want to change the path to reach to a specific destination. This can be done by filtering the route from or to undesired path or neighbor. We can also change the route attributes like metric and next hop to change the desired path. If no policy is configured, or a receive route or advertising route does not match any policy in the device, the route is behaving as defined in the default routing policy. What is default routing policy? Honestly, we have not learned a lot about dynamic routing protocols in this course, and probably this concept does not make sense to remember or to learn all of them, but not bad to hear them at least once. By default, all routes received from OSPF, ISIS, and BGP are accepted and installed in the routing table. Routes received from RIP routing protocol are accepted only if the neighbor from which the routes are received is explicitly configured. By default, all active BGP routes in the routing table are advertised to every BGP neighbor. In OSPF and ISIS, there are not routes which are advertised. Instead, LSA in OSPF or LSP in ISIS, which shows the state of the links are advertised. And by default, no routes from routing table is advertised to any RIP neighbor. How routing policy works? Each route policy has a set of rules or terms in Jonas terminology. First term, second term, third term, or first rule, second rule, and third rule. For each term, there is a from command that matches the routes and a then command that is action to be taken on matching routes. The terms are processed in order, and if a route match a term, then the action is taken. The most common way to match a route is by prefix. There are two tools, route filter and prefix list, by which we can match the routes by matching the prefixes. We will shortly explain these two tools and the differences. But you can also match the routes from a, a specific routing protocol, route attributes, or next hop address. The most common actions are to permit, deny, or change the attribute of the matching routes. If a route matches a term with these actions, the process then ends. But if the action is next term or next policy, then the route continues to be processed by the next rule or next policy. With both prefix list and route filter, you can match route based on both prefix and subnet mask. There are two differences between these two tools, prefix list and route filter. First, prefix list 
can be reused in multiple terms or policies. You can write a prefix list and then you can reuse it in different rules. But route filter cannot be reused. It can be used only in one rule in a policy. Second, with prefix list, there is less flexibility to match the subnet mask. You can match the subnet, for example, 192, 168, 10, slash 24, with a mask, slash 24, exactly, or bigger, or longer. But you cannot match subnet mask with, for example, less than, slash 32, or between, slash 28 and 30. But with route filter, there are more operators, exact or longer, longer, up to and prefix list range. These operators gives us the ability to match the subnet mask exactly greater than or equal, greater than, greater than or equal to a specific length, length than or equal to a specific length and subnet mask exactly between two values. To better understand the Jonas route policy, here there is an example. In the left side, there is a policy. In the right side, the policy is applied to OSPF as export policy. That means when the routes are exported, from the routing table to the OSPF routing protocol, then this policy will be applied. The policy tells us that the connected routes related to interface Giga Ethernet 000 and also static routes matching exactly 172.18.1 and 2.24 and also any RIP routes in the routing table are allowed to be exported into the OSPF routing protocol. All other routes are rejected by default policy. This is the concept of routing policy, Jonas routing policy, but in the next section we will implement and configure a real routing policy scenario in SRX devices.